Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. A quick and easy mail birthday card to make. To make this card I used a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, the bottom half, and two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I also used a piece of this new ribbon which comes with the garage suite, I forgot what it's called, but you'll need a piece of ribbon about four inches, four and a half inches. I'm also using the stamp set Geared Up Garage and to you this card we're going to use the toolbox, the oil can, the splodge mark and a sentiment all geared up to celebrate. Inside I put happy birthday and a little bit of decoration. So get started. You'll need some a mask for the oil can and the toolbox which I have already got. And first of all we're going to do the sentiment. Now I used my stamp positioner for that because I wanted it really dark. So that means inking it up two or three times. So I have it here all geared up to celebrate you. I'm going to put it there. Now to test that it's straight what I did, I should not put this in, is this piece of card, see if it reaches, no, yep, just put these over it and then just inked up yeah that's nice and straight so put my card back in ink up the stamp Press it down. And do it again. I want that geared up to become quite dark. So I should do it again. That's good enough. That's the trouble with using Memento um, ink for sentiments. It's not very, you don't get a very sharp image. I don't think you do anyway. So I'll put this away. need that number. Right, we still need the black and our toolbox. And we stamp that in the middle, about three quarters of the way up. And stamped it at a slant. Oof. 
and then put the mask over it. and stamp your oil can. This is quite an easy stamp to do, a card to do. And then cover the oil can up. I did have the funnel bit at one time, but I ripped it off. But it doesn't matter for this next part. Well, on this card I use crushed curry. On this one I'm going to use Costa Cabana. Because I find it a change. Right, and with the splodge. I don't know what that is, oil mark or something, just stamp it down and then stamp off, no not stamp off, second generation, so stamp that down there and then and for one more I don't want to be too dark, I just want that there See what it looks like. Oh, that looks quite right. So on the inside, we put a splodge mark like that there. Close it up. It's near enough it. All we've got to do is add this bit of ribbon up to the top corner. So all I did with this ribbon was add some tape to it. Uh, I've got this one eighth of an inch red liner tape. I folded the ribbon in half. A bit hard because it's thin and fiddly. marked it, just rubbed my fingernail over the fold mark and I run tape over half of it on one side and then I turned over let's rub that down turned it over and run tape over the other side half picked it off Turn it over and pick up this bit. So and fold it.
over. And then, got the card and placed it right on the edge. And stuck it down. And then that is it. We stick this to our card base. I need to find the word happy birthday from me. Itty bitty stamp set. Let me just get it. So we've got this the right way around. And there. Right. And then This wasn't my idea by the way, I did get this from Pinterest, if you look up Pinterest and the stamp set geared up garage, you'll most probably see it in there. Oh that is the card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe and use the bell button so that you'll be notified of any more cards I upload. <coughs> Sorry about that. And which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, all I can say is thank you for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.